Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would start a new vlog today and film a few days in my life. It was just Easter weekend, which was super fun with my family, with my best friend. Now it's Tuesday, I'm going back to work today. Before work, I'm actually gonna meet two of my friends. We're gonna go to this place called, I think it's pronounced Pame, I could be wrong. Um, I'll put it on the screen here. It's basically this like huge plant store in Griventown, meshed with like a bubble tea cafe type thing. I don't know. I'm really excited to go. Um, as you can see, the girl who lives here has a lot of plants. I don't have any of my own, but I would like to start a small plant collection. So I'll probably get a plant and a bubble tea and then go to work. It's going to be a busy night, but I thought I would vlog that for you guys. I'm going to leave shortly, but I did receive a few packages yesterday and I wanted to show you guys what I got, do like a little unboxing. The first package is from Globe Hope. I have showed you guys some things from them before. They are a sustainable brand from Finland and they sent me a few more things from their spring collection. The first thing that I got is this really cute um it's kind of like y2k vibes you can wear it like that and then the strap is also adjustable and you can kind of like wear it like a belt bag so i thought that was really nice um i love this color you guys know i wear pink all the time and i just love the combination of pink and green and really fun fact is that this bag is actually made from recycled seat belts so you can really see here um, how it looks like a seat belt and then the bottom is made from recycled sleeping bags which I just think is so cool and so innovative so I'm really excited to style this in their spring collection they also sent me this dress it is in the color foggy dew I'm not 100% sure it's my color to be honest I thought it was going to be a little bit more warm toned but I think if I bring some warm tones in I think I'll be able to pull it off but it's basically um, just like a simple t-shirt dress. It's really flattering. There's like little folds on the sleeves, an elastic band, there's pockets, and it goes to like just above the knee, so it's not too short. I also wanted to mention that all of Glow Hope materials are mostly like recycled. So the dress is made from 60% yarn, uh, made from recycled cotton, collected from industrial cutting excess, and then 40% of the yarn is made from recycled polyester produced from bottles and other plastic waste. And then next I got a bag from the company called Der May, and I think it's so cute. It also comes with like a thicker strap so you can kind of wear it um, like this or just as like a handheld bag, or you can wear it um, as a cross body bag. And this is, in the color midnight blue they also have like a lot of other colors uh, they have like this really hot pink which i think would be so fun for summer and i just want to tell you guys a little bit about derme i have some information here because i don't want to like say anything wrong but um when you choose derme you choose a livable wage health insurance and access to education for haitian people you choose a solar powered woman-owned factory you choose found or made materials traditional craft methods and a circular mindset so um you guys know that's all stuff that's like really important to me so sustainable but it's also um fair and ethical that is my little unboxing i am going to quickly curl my hair before i leave and um, i'll also show you guys my dinner so here's the dinner i'm bringing tonight to work i made some soup yesterday in the slow cooker so there's lots of vegetables like carrot celery cabbage just everything i needed to like use up and then i was kind of like what else am i gonna put in the soup and then i remember my mom gave me this soup mix from bob bob red mills and it is so good guys if you've never had it before highly suggest adding it to a soup and slow cooking it i want to show you guys outside because i'm going for bubble tea and getting a plant and of course today look at this look how much snow we got i'm not sure why this happened i'll show you guys in the front as well it's insane and yesterday i went for a run without a jacket like that's how warm it was so i don't really understand the weather right now but hopefully it will get warm and melt soon day um i am ready for a run i have been trying to do two runs a week 
I think my goal is to run a half marathon. I did it like five years ago, I want to say. So I'm thinking throughout the summer, I'm going to train for another one. Um, if my body allows it, that's the problem because I do have a very physical job. So I don't know. I just don't want to injure myself. But anyways, this is my second run of the week. I only do like 5K. I'm just trying to build up my, in in I was going to say insurance. <laughs> I'm just trying to build up my insurance, um, especially after COVID. I've noticed that my lung capacity is quite low compared to what it used to be. So I'm trying to work my way up. But I had such a fun time yesterday visiting Pamai. Pamai? I don't know how to say it. It was like the cutest shop I have ever been in. If I could live in a shop or own a shop, it would be that one. Um, I absolutely loved it. And I got a warm bubble tea for the first time, which I've had cold bubble tea before. I didn't know that you could get it warm, but basically I got the chai one, um, which was perfect for the day because it was snowy and yeah, kind of cold. So anyways, um, I also got a plant. I'll show you guys. My plant is up there and it's kind of funny because this is a plant I used to have. It's called a burrow's tail. It's probably my favorite plant. It lost a lot of its little things because it was packaged in this and I just got a little bit disheveled, <laughs> but hopefully it will come back to life a little bit. But anyways, it is my day off today. I was not supposed to have today off, um, but I am working Sunday instead. At least now, like my shifts are broken up a bit. So I'm not sure what the rest of my day entails but i do have to run some errands since it's my only day off i also have to edit a video um but first i'm gonna go release some stress and go for a quick little run <laughs> My run went really well. It was so much colder than expected. So for lunch, I heated up some of the soup uh, that I showed you guys yesterday, just like a vegetable soup. And then I also heated up some toast in a pan with olive oil, which is so good because it gets so crispy. Anyways, I'm going to eat this. And then I've decided that today I'm gonna go to the farm and pray because I'm running out of toilet paper. <laughs> um, and I'm also gonna go to the bakery. There's this like local bakery around the corner. They have a few in Montreal. It doesn't seem like they have sourdough, but they do have like other kinds of breads so i'm thinking of maybe picking one up on the way home because i do have food here but like bread is just like an essential if i want to have like eggs and avocado so that's really the only thing i need to pick up today got back from running errands. I just went to the pharmacy and I picked up bread at Le Toledo Blanchi Barista. Um, there's one right around the corner for me. Uh, they did not have sourdough, but I got Norwegian bread. So it's like full of seeds and it's really heavy, feels very dense. So I'm really excited to try that. Um, and I know that there's also one in the plateau area. So I think it's like a chain. It's just the end slice. All the slices are a bit thicker, but it looks very good. I'm gonna do a little taste test. I love sesame flavor and I can really like taste it come through. So I really, really like it. And it was $6 for a half of a loaf, but the loaves are like really, really big. I'm gonna see how I do with half a loaf because I eat a lot of bread. So maybe next time I'll get the full and like put half in the freezer or something, but it's so fresh. It's like super crispy on the outside, but then the inside is like really fluffy. So I'm gonna make eggs on toast with avocado for dinner. I'm gonna stay in the rest of the day. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to do a little unboxing because I got two more packages, so let me do that. I think that this is a shampoo bar. So it's a shampoo bar. Um, this is from the Zero Waste store. You guys should follow them on Instagram. They have a lot of zero waste and like eco-friendly products. And it's so funny because I just went to the pharmacy and I was about to pick up an extra bamboo toothbrush, but here we are. This is a peppermint shampoo bar. It smells so good. I love peppermint, especially like when showering. I just find it very like rejuvenating and I feel really good after. So this could not come in per perfect timing because I'm almost out of my shampoo. I have maybe three more hair washes and then I'm done. And obviously it's better than the jug I have now because it is zero waste. And then I don't know about you guys, but anytime I have like a soap bar or a shampoo bar, 
I hate it sitting on the, my bathtub. Like it just annoys me. So um, I picked out a little, a little soap dish. Look how cute this is. So this part is like bamboo. You can take it off and you can clean it properly. So it'll allow like the shampoo bar to like breathe because I hate when like it gets all like gunky and then it sticks to your bathtub. It's just super annoying. So thank you Zero Waste Store for that. I'm very excited to try. Next, I got a package from NYX. They allowed me to pick out something from their website. I heard really good reviews on the NYX. I forget what they're called. But let me tell you. I went for the color Violet Dusk. They are the high touch high rise legging. So I'm really excited. I saw this color and I was like, this is my color. This is beautiful. Look at this. I wear lots of greens and pinks and I just thought it would go really well. Ooh, this feels like super secure. Okay, definitely happy. I sticked to my regular size medium because this is not very stretchy. Like it's really resistant, which I do like in leggings. So that's good. I was just worried that they were gonna be too big. The sizing could not be better. Um, I've mentioned this in a past video, but I find NYX to be like the most true to size clothing brand like I have ever tried. Look, they fit super, super well. Um, I love how compact they are here for spring. I love the color. I think that they're really cute i'm not wearing the right underwear so it's looking a little bit strange but overall i'm super happy with them good morning everyone i just got out of the shower today i am testing a new eye cream for the clean beauty awards so i thought i would do like a little first impressions it's the Piro dore natural skincare ceramide and gold firming eye cream they're from Helsinki, Finland. So it says that it is instantly absorbing, lightweight eye cream that provides intensive care for the skin, restoring firmness and radiance, strengthens the bonds of collagen fibers, creating a fuller look on the skin around the eyes, improves blood circulation within the skin, giving it a brighter appearance. Suitable for all skin types. And it says apply gently with fingertips to the entire eye area. So let's give this a go. This is what it looks like. This is the packaging. So it just looks like that. Kind of creamy. I think I put too much. It feels very lovely, very creamy, very hydrating. So I will keep you guys posted on how I like that. But so far the application is really nice. I'd say that way too much comes out in the applicator. Um, see, I still have all of that on my finger. Maybe I can see if I can do like a half pump later. But I always just rub the excess into my hands because apparently the hands show signs of aging as well, but no one really talks about it. Anyways, I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare routine. I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store because I need to get things like eggs. Like I really can't live without that. And I'll show you guys what I get when I get back. Just got back from the grocery store. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So just from the regular grocery store, I needed very simple things, things that are kind of expensive in the smaller shops. So I got some eggs, just regular cheese, you very small chicken breasts, popcorn, because I had a realization the other day that I have a microwave here and I freaking love microwave popcorn. I also got a watermelon and mint kombucha because the girl had one in her fridge here and I drank it and I just want to make sure that I replace everything that I drink so now this will be there. Some frozen blueberries and some butter because I keep meaning to make banana bread and I always forget that I don't have butter. All of that costed me $33 which is, which is a lot. I went to a smaller shop called Branche d'Olivier and I think it's a chain in Montreal. I'm pretty sure that there's a few other ones, but when I went onto their website, it seemed like they had a lot of like bulk stuff. And unfortunately, a lot of the bulk stuff was packaged in plastic, but their prices were super, super good. So um, I picked up a few things, um, rice cakes. These are flax and sunflower. I also got some hummus because lately I've been obsessed with dumping rice cakes and hummus, it's such a good combo. Brown rice pasta, incense, this is the Nag Champa. And fun fact, I never actually liked incense until I came here and I've been burning some of hers and then I saw these there and I realized that that is 100% where she buys them. Um, so I wanna like replace them um, so I don't use them all, but I don't know why I just love the smell of this, especially when I'm like winding down or doing yoga. This is what it looks like. I got a huge bag of nu nutritional yeast. This was only $5 or almost $6, but I have been using hers, so I want to replace her jar full. 
And then I saw organic string tomatoes was on sale. I was thinking maybe making a veggie sauce once I'm done the soup that I prepped. And then I got some more bouillon cubes. It was a lot cheaper at this grocery store than in the other ones. And all of that cost me $26. So a total was like 55 for this grocery, which I think is really good. Um, and then I think tomorrow I'm gonna go and get fruits and vegetables. I just got all ready for work. This is my outfit today and I am wearing my new Glow Hope bag that I showed you guys. Oh my gosh, I think it's so cute. So I'm gonna try wearing it like this today and then maybe another day I will wear it crossbody. So the past couple of hours, um, what did I do? I did some editing, I looked for apartments. I also booked my train ticket because next weekend I'm going to Ottawa to see Rupi Kaur, the poet, um, with my friend Libby, she lives over there. So I booked my train home, she's gonna come pick me up. But yeah, so that's something exciting to look forward to because I feel like I haven't had anything to look forward to like an event or something in a really long time. But anyways, I thought I would end the vlog here because um, it's getting pretty long and I'll probably start a new one, but I hope that you guys liked it. If there's anything you want to see or any questions that you have, I keep meaning to say that because I would like to do a Q&A maybe in one of my videos. So if you guys have any questions or something, leave them down below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!